This is Leo. She is my favorite Tekken character, and as you can see, I've given her a very schnazzy pair of aviator shades. Now, these sunglasses are very interesting, but we'll get back to them in a moment. What I want you to do is carefully pay attention to this lamppost right back here. I want you to watch it very carefully and see if you notice anything strange. Maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. Either way, I'm going to zoom this footage in and slow it down to make it more apparent. What the hell is that? Why is this solid metal pole warbling and melting whenever it pops out from being occluded by my character? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Tekken 8 uses, at all levels of anti-aliasing, something called Temporal Anti-Aliasing, or TAA. The game does not allow you to disable it, or even select other forms of anti-aliasing. Why that is will soon become apparent, but there are a few other things I need to get into first. You can actually test this for yourself, and it's not just limited to the pole and the character creator. The first stage I noticed this in was in the boat one, where sidestepping back and forth will cause the trees and buildings to microwave themselves as the anti-aliasing tries to fix the damage that it's causing. This is called temporal artifacting, and it's all caused by TAA. So what can we do about it? Well, let me tell you right now that NVIDIA Control Panel cannot disable the temporal anti-aliasing Tekken 8 uses. I have attempted to force off all anti-aliasing and upscaling options, uh, and the game still manages to override them. It's possible I'm missing something, but everything I've tried with NVIDIA has been a dead end. Let me know in the comments if you've got any solutions here. The real answer is a mod on GitHub called Tekken Overlay. With the executable running, you can press F1 to display an options menu that allows you to interface more directly with the graphical settings of the game. Our two points of interest here are to disable upscaling and adjust the anti-aliasing setting the game uses. So let's try turning off TAA and... Oh dear. What is this? What the fuck is happening to my game? Tangent time. Fans of retro games may be aware that there were some game consoles, famously the Sega Genesis and Sega Saturn, that were incapable of rendering true transparency. That's when two things are rendered on top of each other, but one of them is see-through. For when developers wanted to create a transparent image on hardware that couldn't support it, they would use various forms of dithering to set up the scene and rely on low-quality video signals to blend it all together. Here is actual genius displaced gamers explaining and demonstrating this phenomenon. Layering the two backgrounds creates a dithered pattern with a plethora of color detail. When this is converted from RGB to composite and back again, the fine detail of the colors is lost, and they appear blended together, producing what to us is simply a semi-transparent waterfall. So now we can see what's happening with Leo's glasses and hair, and get a pretty good idea as to why these options aren't exposed to the player. The game is only rendering about half of what you'd expect to be there, and relying on the massive image degradation quality of TAA to blend the scene together, the same way many Sega Genesis developers would rely on dithered transparency over composite video. At least disabling it fixes the background warbling. Now, I for one was laughing my ass off when I discovered this because that means the 90s are fucking back, baby, but why is this happening? I want to make a brief disclaimer and say that I do not have any way of knowing what decisions were made during the development of Tekken 8 or why, but based on the observable evidence, my hypothesis is this. Tekken 8 is a beautiful game, but current gen consoles and most PCs would not be able to run it at an acceptable frame rate, which, need I remind you, is a locked 60 FPS at all times, so a whole bunch of shortcuts had to be taken to keep the fidelity as close as the developers wanted, which is what's causing this garbage on my screen. Disabling it exposes the way the game is rendered, which the general public would probably find unacceptable. In order to make the game look correct without TAA, they need to make a lot of changes to the way the graphics are rendered exclusively for when the setting is disabled, and that's a very tiny edge case considering most people probably won't care, so they simply don't allow you to disable it. When it comes to my game, personally, I often fall back on old faithful FXAA. It sucks just as much ass as it always has, but it does mitigate... some of the checkerboarding without destroying the overall image quality too much. Often though, I will just outright disable it. MSAA, unfortunately, doesn't seem to do much of anything, which is strange. 
The fact of the matter is that temporal anti-aliasing is just not a good piece of technology and should be opposed at every step of the way. It eats image quality for breakfast, causes horrible artifacting, and smears digital Vaseline on any object in motion. One of the steps TAA has taken is with NVIDIA's DLSS, which is a form of real-time quote-unquote AI upscaling that, according to digitaltrends.com, is based on TAA. Now, I've seen a lot of people, mostly children and idiots, express great excitement over the introduction of technology like DLSS, but to anyone who gives a shit about image quality, this technique is poison. It's generating fake picture information, and it's wrong most of the time. But as demand for bigger games with better graphics continues to grow, and these bad practices become industry standard, it's only going to get worse. This is the part where other people would say, don't go contacting anyone on my behalf, let's just be smart consumers and vote with our wallets, but no, that's nonsense. You should go and complain to the developers, to the publishers, to the community managers. Be respectful, because there's still people who are mostly just doing what they're told, but make some noise about your dissatisfaction. TAA, DLSS, and all that AI upscaling bullshit needs to go the fuck away and stay there. Just because it's a new technology, doesn't make it a good technology.